I have tried to film this update video three or four different times. Um, I usually end up in tears um, and haven't tried in a, about a week. So I'm going to try again and we'll see if I can make it through this time. Um, so we are not moving to Okinawa anymore. Um, I uh, I don't even know where to begin. Um, our movers came on a Monday to pack up our unaccompanied baggage. Okay, scratch that. Um, the last couple of videos that I had made, I was building up to the movers coming and picking up our unaccompanied baggage. And the day they came to do that was a Monday. Um, building up to that the weekend before that, uh, the baby hadn't been feeling very well. He really wasn't himself. He'd been fussy. He'd been cranky. Um, but, you know, he'd kind of been teething. So, you know, we'd all had a cold. It, it, who knows? Um, well, we now know. But um, he, um, that Monday morning, the movers came. They picked up our unaccompanied baggage and they left. Um, we went out to eat and uh, the baby was just fussy and cranky and sleepy and didn't want to eat and he hadn't really eaten all weekend um, and when we got home he deteriorated he he got very very sick very very quickly um, and we ended up at the emergency room um, and I will insert the video here that I made that night. This is not a video. This is not a video any mom wants to ever make. I'm in the hospital right now with the baby. I don't know if you can hear me. <coughs> he, um, he has had a cold and he started breathing really rapidly um, this afternoon and he was dry heaving and I'm still breastfeeding him and uh, he wouldn't breastfeed which is really uncommon which it's not him so I decided to take him to the emergency room and his uh, they ran some tests and his blood gluco blood glucose was five times what it's supposed to be. Um, we're in a pediatric intensive care unit right now. We were ambulanced over and we're just hanging out. We're gonna talk to a doctor in the morning and we should learn more. We don't really have a diagnosis right now. They're just trying to stabilize his blood sugar. Today's been a really scary day. This morning, the movers came to take our stuff to Okinawa. Some of our stuff. Not how I imagined today going. Um, after that video, before I even made that video, we had a pretty good idea what was going on. Um, but I didn't say it in that video because I didn't want it to be true. But um, the baby was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. And um, then I made this short video here. Today's our second day in the hospital.
We're doing so much better. Uh, we have officially been diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. And we are going to begin a treatment regimen, learning how to move his uh, medication and stuff tomorrow. He's a little cranky. I think it's time for a nap. It's about 8 o'clock at night. I don't know that I'm going to update from the hospital again. We uh, just found out that we're getting a roommate. We, so I'm not going to record. Um, today we got, today is Wednesday. We've been here since Monday night, Monday afternoon, Monday night. Um, we got transferred to the pediatric unit today. We will be here probably through the weekend. Um, but he's doing good. Aren't you? Aren't you? And we are going to start learning to settle into having a child with type 1 diabetes. Definitely not how we planned this week to go. Um, just... In case you're wondering, we are not going to Japan anymore. Um, they will not accept him. That he will not get medical clearance. Because he has type 1 diabetes and they don't have an endo endocrinologist at the hospital there. Um, we are probably going to stay here for a while. Um, some of our stuff has already been packed up. If you've been following me long enough, you know our dogs are in Japan. We are working to get our shipments that have already left back and working on getting our dogs back. Um, Yay. That's where we're at. A new life. So, the reason this means we're not going to Okinawa is kind of two things. Um, the, the biggest reason is uh, the military medical facilities over there do not have the capabilities to deal with insulin dependent diabetes. So they don't have an endocrinologist. I don't know if you can get insulin at the pharmacy. Um, and Paul is going to be insulin dependent for the rest of his life. Um, with type 1 diabetes, it is not anything that we did. Um, there's nothing we did wrong. There's nothing we could have done to prevent it. It's an autoimmune disease. He was probably born with it. It just didn't um, start affecting him until recently. Um, he obviously got very, very sick that one weekend, but they think that it had probably begun to affect his body um, as, as much as six months ago. Um, oh, he's... Yeah. yeah. Do you want to say hi? Okay. There he is. Hey, Paul. Hi. Yeah, mommy set the camera on. So, um, I got some videos here of him at the hospital. Um, him, he started walking at the hospital. Uh, it was more of just hobbling, but it was his, his first couple steps were at the hospital. Paul? Paul? Polly? Polly? What are you doing? <gasps> Is that a big smile? What are you chewing on? Did you have food hiding in your teeth? How are you feeling? Uh -huh. Oh, we're going to stand up. Go for the pop -lip. Polly. 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 Are you going to walk?
this is going to be our last hospital video, hopefully. We have been discharged. We have been here for eight days, nine days. And baby Paul just needs to finish his lunch. We're going to correct his carbs on his insulin pump. And I will probably make a video after this one that explains everything because there's a lot that needs to be explained. Are we going to eat our lunch? The hospital food is awful. Okay, so one of the other reasons that we are moving is because um, Paul, his blood sugar is still like totally not stable, um, which I think is to be expected for the first probably couple years that we're dealing with this. He's going to have really high highs and probably some low lows um, while we work on getting him under control and as he grows and he, he you know, it, it, it we're trying to do what his pancreas used to do for him. And I don't know if he's releasing growth hormones, which can cause your blood sugar to go up. Or I don't know if he's teething, which can cause your blood sugar to go up. Or if he's, you know, coming down with a cold, which can cause your blood sugar to go up. So a lot of these factors that we don't have control over um, are going to just totally mess with his, his blood sugar as he gets older. Um, and so it's, it's going to, it's it's going to be a constant attention kind of situation with him. Um, he is uh, he's doing really well though. He's on an insulin pump. Um, we're figuring out how much to give him and when to give it to him. Um, it's we're we're getting there, um, but we are not moving at all anywhere right now um, for at least a year. We're going to still be here in uh, San Diego. Um, we, uh, just signed a new lease, so we are staying here for now. We're glad it happened before we left, um, because if it had happened after we left, uh, this would have been a much more difficult situation to handle because we would be in Japan and they would have to send us somewhere else to see a doctor and I don't even want to think about how the logistics of that would have gotten figured out. It would have been just a total cluster. But um, we are here in San Diego for the time being and we are on the track to handling baby's diabetes. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. I can try to answer them. Um, if you have dealt with type 1 diabetes, let me know. If you have a kid, it, it's, it's nice to know. I found some online communities, but it's nice to know that we're not the only one with a baby out there who his pancreas stopped working. Um, so yeah. Um, comment below, give me a thumbs up if you've been through this. Thanks. Bye.